Fox Talk tonight. Boy, wrap your head around this. UFO sightings are skyrocketing in 2012, and we're barely two weeks in. Eyewitnesses reporting strange things in 36 out of the 50 states, and yeah, Florida's included. We are joined on the phone right now, Peter Davenport from the, uh, he's the director of the UFO Center there in uh, Washington. Peter, uh, let me tell you something, everybody's got a, a cell phone camera these days. I'm imagining if you're having a lot of sightings, you're getting some pretty good pictures. Well, we get some pictures, but the overwhelming majority of them are of low quality, as you say, from those cell phones. What we encourage people to do if they see what they think may be a UFO is try to get a good camera, stabilize the camera no matter what they're using, and try to get a good still photo of it. Peter, why do you think you're getting so many this early in the year? Is it because it's 2012 and you got everybody going, oh, it's the Mayan calendar? Uh, I'm not one of those who believes that there's anything special about 2012, Bob, but uh -huh. I just, just before this program I reviewed our database. We took 110 reports on New Year's Eve, 13 of them are from Florida, and uh, something is going on. I mm -hmm. think it's picked up dramatically, the number of reports we're receiving, but what it means, I have no idea. What's the best picture you've ever seen, the best UFO you've ever seen, or at least seen a picture of? Well, uh, it's hard to say. I think the McMinnville, Oregon photo back in 1951, May of 51, uh, was probably one of the best, but there have been some good ones since that time. There were some good ones uh, captured during the Phoenix Lights event of March 13th. Yes, I've seen those. Those are, those are terrific. Do you, do you think this is going to continue throughout 2012? You think there's something, maybe something special going on right now? I have no idea, but I appear to be one of only very few UFO investigators who cannot see the future events clearly. <laughs> uh, I just don't know what's, what's going to happen, Bob. And I'm trained as a hard scientist, so I wait for the data to come in, and I make judgment on that. So you don't, you're not a paranormal uh, scientist. You're not, a, you're not a ghostbuster or anything like that. You just wait for the hard evidence. I wait for good, solid eyewitness accounts from credible American citizens or citizens from around the world. And I look at what I've collected and uh -huh. try to make a decision on that. Peter, I've always wished that I, I could see a UFO. Have you ever in your life seen one? have. In fact, I saw a doozy of a sighting here out in eastern Washington on the, I think it was the 17th of October last year, 2011. I was out for a walk on our local golf course and saw something go over at 6.42 p.m., for which I have absolutely no, exper no explanation. Uh, I've been a commercial pilot for the last 33 years, and I've never seen anything like that. No kidding. Well, it's very, it's fascinating to be sure, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, get people to go to your website and take a look and see those photos for themselves. Peter, we appreciate you spending some time with us today. Thank you very much for your interest, Bob. Mm -hmm.